Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksub.com. This time I'm taking a look at BumpTop Pro, a 3D desktop application for Windows. Before I start, you can get a free version. You're limited to two sticky notes, watermark thumbnails, limited support, but you still get all of the good stuff. You get the full Windows 7 support, the physics engine, themes, gestures, widgets, slideshows. So you get a lot of stuff with the free version, but if you want to take it a little bit further and get premium support, multi-touch gestures, which may be uh, good for those with HP Touch Smarts or those TFTs that now have multi-touch built in and a bunch of other options then it's well worth checking out the Pro version. So let's demonstrate it to you. Here you can see I have a 3D desktop. Now by default it's blue. What you can actually do is go to the system tray and go to settings under bump top and you can see we have general, icons and physics, visuals and themes. Now I have the bumped next theme at the moment on my thing. It had blue, I believe it's bumped blue or something like that, it has by default, but you can change them all. You can even download more from the website. You can go to advanced, I won't click the pro thing because it will show my serial key, and obviously you have the about. So it's really good stuff. Now on the right hand side I have new email, Facebook and Twitter. Now this was provided by default, so if I double click new email, it starts a new email which is great. It does it from Thunderbird as well, which is my default application. If I double click Facebook it will basically show up my Facebook page. You can see here, drop images to here and it will upload them straight to Facebook. So that's awesome. I could take my image here, drag it over to Facebook, which I won't so it doesn't upload it, but it would put it straight onto Facebook. If I double click Twitter, it's asking what am I doing? And again, drop images here and it will update my Twitter. Now I can move these around. As you can see, a sort of nice little 3D effect here. So I can customize it as much as I want. At the back, I've got some flicker frames. And I can move these around. I can have these on the actual front here and I can let go and there we go. Now if I want to look at these a little bit better, I can double click like this and it will change the camera view. If I double click over here, it moves to this wall, I get a wall here behind the camera and this, which is center printer, reset my camera and it's gone back to how it was. Now if I want to go onto it and see what the image is, double click the image and it will zoom right in. I can then go through the images if I want and it's now going through all the images that I have on my page and then open them in the editor as you can see here or I can just simply close the slideshow. So I move my little icon around, I can bounce it off walls, it's pretty cool. Now if I have two things here and I do a little gesture with a circle, move it back into the circle, I can actually create a pile. So doing that you can see it's now grouped them together which is rather nice and with the pro version if I use my scroll wheel you can see it's actually scrolling through the pile. So if I have a bunch of documents and I just go da 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 and then make a pile out of it, then I can simply just scroll through them. Now I can actually right click and make these uh, a little bit bigger. So I'll go to grow. So I want to make them nice and big and then scroll through them. Pretty cool, isn't it? So very nice stuff. It's got a nice little 3D engine. Now if I want to create a sticky note, I just right click and click sticky note. So I'm just going to say make a video and uh, go to write sticky notes. And there we go. It's dropped. I can again put this on the wall and I can right click and I can shrink and I can make it grow depending on what I want to do. So very, very customizable. And if I want to uh, go to the options when you normally right click on the desktop, you simply just go to more or you can control, whoops, and control and right click. Let's try again, there we go, more. There we go, it's got all of the different things here. Um, I actually just hover it and it did it. I thought you had to click, but hey, you hover it and there you go, it has all the options you need. So this is really good. It's a nice 3D application. I would say that the normal desktop user may not want to use this. If you're used to using a 2D version, then uh, this might be something cool, something novelty to check out. And uh, I'd recommend it if you just want to have something new on your desktop. But for something that's going to run in the background, especially if you're playing games and things like that, then it may not be worth it. But if you do have something like a touch screen, it would definitely be very cool to have that there because you don't have to worry about clicking small icons. You can simply take an icon in a pile or whichever and make it grow and then that's a bigger icon and then you can drag that around. You can put it wherever you want. So that's pretty much it. Bump Top Pro, uh, give me all your opinions in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this. But you can get this, I believe, for $29. And if I was to give this a rating, uh, for a standard user, it'd be 8 out of 10, mainly because it works brilliantly. And as you can see, it looks very nice, uh, even though it may not be what the standard user might want on his desktop. Uh, but if you have a touch screen, then I'd bump that up to a, at least a nine, a nine and a half, because it'd be perfect usability if you have, especially with the uh, multi-touch gestures. So that's about it really. Thanks for watching this video. Check out more reviews at dunksweb.com. Please subscribe if you like these videos. And thanks again.